Next, I'm going to import that bell buckle and the bell prong. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to file, and then come over here to import, and then select OBJ. Okay. And I'm going to navigate to my bell buckle that I created earlier, right here, buckle OBJ, and I'm going to click on it and then click on open and this import obj window pop up so under basic we want the load type to be edit okay we want object type to be avatar scale mm perfect 100 percent awesome and unit change it to cm after that click on ok Okay, this is cool, guy. This is a bell buckle that we created earlier, right? Let me uh, click on it. Somehow, I click on it doesn't want to appear. You see the gizmo right here? That's what I'm looking for. I want to click on it and then have this gizmo right there appear so I can move that object anywhere I want. Let me bring it up here. And I'm going to just pan it down a little bit. Just press down Option all on the keyboard. And then come over here. So guys, by default, okay, the side that I created should be perfect for the bell buckle. However, if you're not happy with that bell buckle side, you can click on it and then you can change the side. See right here? Click on this side changes icon and you can just Change it bigger, wider, however you like. I'm going to press Command Z to undo it. You can even make it thicker if you want. Just rotate this to the right, and then you can just click and drag to make it thicker. However, I don't want to make it thicker, so I'm going to Command or Control plus letter Z to undo, and I'm going to rotate this workspace by pressing down command or control and then right click and then drag it to the left to rotate, okay? And next I'm going to press down number two on my keyboard because I want to reset this workspace to default which is in the front. After that, I'm going to just pan it over a little more, okay? Just press down option all on the keyboard and zoom in. So don't be shy to zoom in guys because we want it as close as possible so we can see detail about it, okay? Next, I'm going to click on that bell buckle right there and I'm going to click one on this scale icon to get back to this gizmo so we can click on that gizmo and then move a buckle, okay? So I want to rotate this bell buckle up and down vertical rather than horizontal. I'm going to left click on this right here and then press down shift to rotate because I want it to be straight up and down, okay? Next, I'm going to just click on that and then drag it over to these bell strap. Okay, that is pretty awesome, guys. Let me just Pan it down a little bit, press it on option all on the keyboard and then pan it down. And I'm going to rotate because I want to see the whole buckle if it's too close or too far from the bell strap. To do that, press down command or control, right click and then drag it to the right to rotate. Look, as you can see, our bell buckle is placed too far into the bell strap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to once again click on that bell buckle, okay? Then I'm going to rotate it to the right, rotate the whole workspace. Then I'm going to click on this blue square right there and then drag it forward just a little bit, okay? And rotate it over. I think that's about right. Next, I'm going to rotate back right here, okay? And I'm going to click on this yellow, yellow square and then move it to up forward or downward, however I like. Okay, so here 
I do not see any internal line in this bell strap. However, I can come over here to this right here, this t-shirt icon, and I'm going to click on the internal line show to display this internal line right there. Let me click one on the page to deselect the bell buckle and I can show you. So right here, this internal line, I just select display option to show the internal line. And we need that internal line to be visible. Okay, I will show you in a bit. So after that, I'm going to once again click on that bell buckle. Okay, so here's some issue happen. Sometimes when we click on that bell buckle, it somehow the gizmo doesn't appear. So what you're gonna do, just click one on a page and then click one on that bell buckle again. And this time the gizmo appear. And I'm going to just click and then move that bell buckle up and down how we like. And then I'm going to place just right below that oval shape hole, okay? Next, I'm going to come over here to this, you see right below this move slash tool, I'm going to click on this tool right here, it's called select mesh box, and then hover the mouse to the right, and then click on that mesh box tool to select. Next, I'm going to just kind of click right there, right above the buckle, and then drag to the right, and then drag it down, to create this right here to highlight this area so we can pull the fabric over off the buckle, okay? So we can click and drag right here. So after we highlight that area, I'm going to click on that area and this gizmo up here. And I'm going to pull that fabric over the bells bar, okay? To do that, I'm going to rotate the workspace to the left a little bit, okay? Then I'm going to click on this blue area and then drag forward. As you can see, I just pulled the fabric forward, okay? Then I'm going to rotate this bell back to the right. See if I rotate everything? Looks like I'm doing pretty good, okay? Next, I'm going to just click one on the page to release. After that, I'm going to see certain area right here. We need to pull a little more. This not comes through. We want it just a little bit more. Once again, just click and then highlight that area. Then click on it and rotate it to the right. And then click on that blue square right there and pull it over a little more. Because we want that fabric over this bell bar, okay? Then click one on the page to release and you can see almost there, I'm going to just do it a little more on that fabric. So I'm going to just click, drag, like you draw a square guy. And I'm going to click on that fabric one more time to bring this gizmo and rotate it so I can see the blue square and then click on it and then drag forward, okay? It should be good this time, okay. So now you can see this fabric right here is over the bell bar. After that, I'm going to, once again, guy, after that, I'm going to come over here to this full arrangement tool, click on it. Then I'm going to hover, you see right here, when I hover my mouse over the internal line, this blue highlight appear, and I'm going to click on it. And now you see this gizmo, I'm going to click on this green gizmo and drag it to the left to fold it backward, okay? And let me just left click and then rotate this a little bit. We want to see, yeah, that's okay. That will be fine. Okay, so I'm going to click one on the page to release. All right, so... First of all, let me explain a little bit with the bell buckle. So when we import this bell buckle into the workspace, this bell buckle is free. I will show you in a minute when I hit the space bar to simulate, everything changes except the bell buckle does not move, okay? So let me show you that. I'm going to press down the space bar to simulate, okay? All right, so 
you press on the spacebar and then stop, press and stop a couple of times. You don't want to wait to until it's all simulated because we want to adjust this belt strap. And let me uh kind of rotate the workspace a little bit. And as you can see, we kind of have a lot of space between the buckle and the belt strap. This is because the bell buckle skin set is a little too high. So I'm going to show you how to reduce that. So to change the skin offset for this bell buckle, I'm going to come over here to this move slash tool, click on it. Then I'm going to click on that buckle. Then come to the property editor and I'm going to scroll down over here to the skin offset. Instead of three, I'm going to change it to one. Then press return to enter on the keyboard to confirm. Next, I'm going to click one on the page to release the selection. And I'm going to rotate a little bit to the right here so we can see these whole changes. Okay, I'm going to press the space bar to simulate. As you can see, the skin also change from drastically circle to kind of almost touch this bell bar. Okay, all right. So something we can do about this, okay? It's a little bit crooked here. So what I can do, I'm going to come over here to this right here. Just click one to select that strap. And I'm going to right click and strengthen it, okay? Then I'm going to press down the space bar to simulate once again. And as you can see, it looks much better already, okay? Next, I'm going to just click one on the peg to release. All right, awesome guys. Let me press on number two on the keyboard to reset my view to front view. And I'm going to pan it up a little bit and look at a bell. Look pretty awesome guys. Okay, so there is some tuning that we need to do for the bell strap as well as for the bell buckle. And we also need to place right here. Let me zoom in. We also need to place the belt prong right here on to this belt buckle. All right. So first of all, I'm going to change this property of the belt buckle to metal. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to just click on right here on that belt buckle. And I'm going to come over here. And I want to change the bell buckle type right here. Material type from matte to metal. Right there. So metal render only. So as you can see here, it looks much better already. So from plastic looking thing to a metal look. Another thing I want to point out here. So this is the render quality. It's really a shoot chain. So if I click on that, you see how this look kind of dull. If I come over here and select this render quality in this 3D top corner right here, give this huge effect. It looks just like really metal metal, okay? Which is, that's what we want. And so far, a bell buckle looks really awesome onto this bell strap. Hi, I'm Rose Willy from Encoder Fashion. There is more information under this video. Bye!